Hello, my friends. I've missed y'all. Happy Feral Monday. So summer is on its way. So I think it's time that we talk about neons. This is going to be fun. Now, neons don't have to be absolutely terrifying. We don't have to take the hot pink all the way up to the brow. We can actually do a little bit more of a subtle crease. Um, what you're seeing me do right now is look over here and try to find capulets, but oh, there it is. Just kidding. We'll just kind of we'll just warm up the socket a little bit. We'll even add a little bit more eyeshadow. But whenever you're doing something a little bit out of your comfort zone, remember a warm crease. A warm crease is your friend. Also, don't worry about that. We're going to have to completely clean the lid space in a second. But just tap on your warm liquid shadow here. And you can use it. It doesn't have to be a liquid. I just grabbed this because I know it's a really nice warm shade and I can add a little bit more depth but we'll kind of start with this as our base and I'm using the side of the brush just to tap and transition that out a little bit by the way let's do this for reference okay that's our neons let me wipe my hand off on Sheila so yes that is very very bright but when neon has a white base underneath it it's going to glow. It's going to be so much brighter. It's going to enhance the color. So we're not quite there yet. We need to clean up this lid space because see how this is going to transfer because we're human and we blink and it wasn't set. Now that it's dry, it's not going to go anywhere, but it did transfer before it dried. So we want to really clean up our lid space and make way for a white eyeshadow base. Now we're going to do our white eyeshadow base. This one is from City Color. And I'm just going to kind of paint that on. It doesn't really need to be perfect. I'm going to have the eyeshadow kind of just lightly smoke out. But I do want the lid. I'm grabbing more. I want the lid to be the brightest, most pigmented part. So that's where we really need to focus and smooth. Now, too much of this and it could just become muddy again. So what we want to do is get the right amount and we also just need to make sure that it's nice and smooth. So I'm going to grab another brush for that in just a second. And I know this looks horrifying. Yes, mm -hmm. I know. Oh, I do. But one thing we do around here is trust the process. I'm going to bring it out pretty far too. Okay, but we're not ready for the shadow. Now we need our C31 because this is going to really smooth it out. It needs to be really nice and even, no lumps. And it needs to have grab, but it can't be wet. I wish that you could touch my eyelid right now to see what I'm talking about. But there's a difference between tacky and wet. Looking nice and even now. We're having fun. Feral Monday. So isn't that wild? It's truly neon now. So we're picking it up here on our E27. And I'm just making sure it's a little bit even on the brush. It doesn't have to be perfect. Take that and just press it. Just pack, just pack it. Pack it like you're going on vacation. Ooh! Now that is the same, but a white base just enhances. And what's happening here is my undertone is changing it. My skin tone is a factor. So that's what we're seeing here as opposed to that bright white base. Trust the process. And then I also want to remind you to be a little bit more delicate with a neon pigment. They're, they're a little bit more um, testy. They're a very soft pigment, very fragile. And when we kind of blend and overwork them and not just kind of pack, 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 um, even a small brush is really nice too because you're able to really concentrate the color. But try not to buff and move it around too much. And you're okay packing. I can't, in fact, I'm just kind of continuing to tap and transition just a little bit here. But don't be too afraid. I don't want you to be afraid of it, but a small brush helps and packing helps. We're having fun. All right, so we're gonna pick up the orange. I'm actually mixing the two here. I'm doing this and this. Okay. And I'm picking up a lot on the brush. So you're noticing that there's a lot. Ooh, you see that? We didn't want that. But that's so easy to fix. That's just, that's gonna happen until it's set, just like concealer is gonna crease until it's set. All right, so here we go. Pack that on. I 
and then I'm just gonna keep tapping to transition it until it looks like that. And all I do is tap. We're having fun. I know, I know. Please, it's okay. I'm gonna soften up here. We're gonna soften with a color similar to what we laid down. We're gonna add a little tiny wing. And once this gets cleaned up, we're all gonna be like, oh, well, some of us. I know some of us are still like, no, Rose, no. But then you, but there will be finesse. Finesse is coming. <laughs> And I really cannot stress enough how important it is to pack the color on. I know it's really repetitive, but I could have, yes, these were swatches and yes, we could have gotten them brighter. Um, if I had packed, we could, but still my undertone, everything is going to interfere with how intense this shows up. White base is just a blank canvas and it also just helps the neon really, really shine true. I'm actually gonna hop over to this pink. It's a little bit darker. And we're going to grab that. This is a loose pigment. I'm going to tag the brand for you, but it's darker and I wanted to add it to the outer part of the eye just to kind of add a little bit more depth. Since it's darker, it's going to just kind of finish off the eye. It's always fun to go lightest to darkest. Now I'm just going to take a shadow, a, a, it has to be a powder shadow but it's just very similar to that first one we laid down and all I'm doing is just ever so lightly softening the edges, just kind of blurring those. And I'm using the tip of the brush to do this. That way we have a little bit more precision, but we're also still have the whole front of this brush to work with. Okay, so next time let's do all of our makeup and then kind of leave this fallout because it fell so pretty. Are we going to make fallout a trend? <laughs> I'm, we're not, but I do, would like to see it. I think that could be an interesting look. Now I'm just going to clean all this up. I like to use Sheila in my cellar water. You can use makeup wipes, but I, I, I feel because I do so much makeup that I would fill up an entire trash can in a day. So I just use Sheila. Now, since neons can be really, really bright, I like to add just a little bit of dimension at the lash line. You don't even have to do a perfect wing, but I would add just a little bit of smudge at the lash line. I feel sometimes they can just make the eye look a little too, I mean, obviously it's neons, <laughs> but just adding that little bit of depth at the lash line really pulls things together. Now we're doing these House of Lashes lashes. I wanted something kind of soft and fluffy. These are perfect. This is perfect. <laughs> Can't talk. Too excited. Too much neon staring at me. So these are new from them. They're called, the style is called Tigress. I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to pinch it. I'll come back and show you. So then what I like to do is make sure that there's no excess glue. So I'll take a little bit of micellar water. Okay, micellar water is so helpful. And then I'm just going to make sure that I just kind of clean off my little clampers. These are from House of Lashes too. And then I'm just going to see what I'm doing. I'm kind of turning it up again. Wipe. Every time we touch that glue, we run the risk of ripping this lash off. Ripping sounds more aggressive. It's not going to hurt, but it's going to come off and then we're just not going to know what to do. So now that we have it clamped and then I'm just going to see how I have it. I'm not clamping. I'm just kind of continuing to push it upwards as that lash glue sets. I don't want it to kind of cover up too much of that neon, but I do want to see the fluff. You can see that fluff kind of coming through as opposed to this side. I'm doing my cover effects. Power Play Foundation. I'm getting tan, y'all. This is shade M3. I'm gonna need a darker shade. Oh, I should, ooh, you know what? I'm gonna hop off and film a video. I'll be right back. I have an idea because what happens is, I've talked about it before, but I, I do have a few different ways that I, I can fix it now. Um, but we don't wanna be buying foundations all the time. <laughs> um, so we have to find ways to make what we have work. Okay, I filmed it. You're gonna see the video. I'm gonna finish up with some concealer. Um, Y'all have seen me do it a million times and I do add some blush in there, a certain color blush, which you will see, but I wanted to hop off and film that. There is a little bit of technique and I actually used powder, but you'll see it. I'll post it really fast, very soon, I should say. I don't know what this is. This is my teaching hand. <laughs> Grabbing my Nikia Joy pink powder, even that out. 
Let's go ahead and set. Smooth. And then I'm actually not going to really set where I have that bronzer. I'm just going to let that do its thing. I might grab a powder bronzer. That's what I'll do. I'll grab a powder bronzer and just set a little bit more. Looks so good, so satisfying. My C40s are all dirty from traveling, so I'm gonna throw a C41 at me. Um, I'm gonna use this bronzer. It's not quite as pigmented and that's what I want, but I'm setting. So the reason I didn't put the pink on there is because I don't wanna dull it in any way, because sometimes if you put a powder with any type of pigment in it, what can happen is it can turn very gray, very dull. So I recommend instead of setting, even with the translucent powder, set with your bronzer. I'm just gonna finish up underneath here with Capulets again. We'll let the lid be the shining star here. And I'm just gonna take my concealer brush and I'm just gonna tap it. I'm just using the very, this sloped end. I'm gonna use that just to tap it in. And... Nice. And it also really kept it nice and controlled. Let's use this color for blush. I haven't used it in a while, I'll just grabbed it. Ooh, so pretty. I like to, I'm gonna do it really, really, really intense. And then I'm gonna go back over it with, I had this foundation brush earlier. It should still have a little bit of something in it. Perfect. Melty, melty. <laughs> By the way, I did switch foundations only because I wanted to make a really, really drastic point. So. This one is a little bit too light for me. I could definitely, this one would be so much easier to fix, but for the demonstration purposes, I wiped that off and I used this. Now Fenty sent me this, but they sent way too light of shades. That's not, that's all on me. I am now a lot darker as we get into summer. Um, but I used this and I have it on and it is extra glowy, but I just think it's really, really pretty. It is not, it's not, greasy it just and it feels so nice i think this might be my new uh, favorite fenty product but i'm gonna swatch just a little bit of it here just so you can see like look at that that's way too light for me right now but again i i did it for demonstration not not because i didn't like the other one the other one was just a lot easier to fix because i can still use that one but that one i had to absolutely fix now i'm going to take a little bit of this shade again and I'm just going to kind of create a glow around here just to soften. But you can see how it clung to the white base. But I thought that would be kind of cool. And then I'm going to grab some on the tip of the brush and just kind of push it under here too. So I, I did this Cinderella lipstick. It's super, super nude, but that's what I wanted. And then I'm gonna do Spice Chai from Mario. Because I wanna stay pretty nude with the neons, but we'll add a little bit of depth. And there you have it. This is fun. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but Feral Monday is for fun. Now, tomorrow I'm gonna head to LA. I'm doing a tutorial, because I have to get ready. Because I'm going to Live Tinted's five year birthday party. I'm so excited. I'm so excited and I'm so grateful I was invited and I wouldn't miss it because I love Deepika with all of my heart. And of course I love, love y'all see me use Live Tinted all the time, but I'm, I'm very excited. So we're gonna be doing that. But again, I'm gonna get ready anyways. So we'll do a tutorial together. I love you all so much with all of my heart and I'm gonna go get on a plane. See you tomorrow.